Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. Just thought I would give you a little sneak peek love preview for February 2017. I'm going to pull one card for each sign. They'll go pretty quick. It's going to be a short video just to uh, prepare you for February. If you guys want to contact me and get instant answers to any questions you might have for the month of February, just go ahead and download the Instant Go app from your iPhone App Store. Um, Download the app and you can call me on the app. Uh, just dial my number there and we can have a nice little chit chat and I can do a reading for you live over the phone. And um, the text readings take, uh, I, I'll get back to you in 24 hours. I know I say this a lot on my, my channel, but I just wanted to let you know versus waiting for a week for a reading. But I also have a special up uh, for how the other person feels about you on my website moonpietarot.com so you can check that out if you want. So let's get started and see what's going on. So we're going to start with Aries. Okay. So for Aries, chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. So either you're going, either you're dealing with someone, the person that you're thinking about right at this very moment, there's a very strong attraction to this person, or you'll be meeting somebody new again with chemistry. You'll know it when you see them, you'll know it when you meet them, what that pull is, you'll feel that energy from that person. Taurus, finances and career issues, financial issues are affecting your love life right now. Okay, Taurus, so either your love life or the person that you're dealing with, um, there's a lot of work that's happening. Someone's really focusing on work this year or during February, trying to get things done or taking care of things. So if you have someone you're dealing with and they've been kind of like am missing in action, uh, this is why. Very busy with work and just very busy focusing on their finances and their, you know, their work life right now. Or it's your energy and that's what's happening with you. Okay, so we did Aries, Taurus. Now we're going to do Gemini. Geminis, you need to stay optimistic about your love life in the month of February positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So, you know, staying optimistic, I always like to say, get rid of any cynicism you might have. Not that Geminis usually have that, but if you feel yourself getting pulled down by little tiny things that other people do or little things that other people say, it's really just telling you to you know, focus on the positives. Stay optimistic about whatever troubles that you have. This is really just an advice for you during this time to prepare yourself. Meditate on staying optimistic. Tell yourself every day that you wake up, I'm going to think positively about the situation. Regardless, I'm going to find the positives in the negatives, no matter what. Cancer. Very soon, someone's going to be making a decision about a relationship or you are, okay? If it's you, make sure that during this time you're very clear about your intentions and you're very clear about what it is that you want or what you hope to achieve in your life at this time, okay? And it's also with someone else, whomever, if there's another person you're dealing with, their energy, that's what they're going to be doing. So there could be a decision made in February about either leaving a relationship or coming together. Now I feel like this is going to be more of a coming together because of the way this card is showing up here. So for the majority of you, if you've been waiting for someone to make a decision about your relationship or your love life or your marriage or whatever the situation is, I feel like it's actually going to be made during February. Okay, Leo, you're taking a trip in February. You and another person, if you're in a long distance relationship or if you're in a situation with a partner where you are thinking about going away for maybe say Valentine's Day or during a holiday time or maybe a birthday. If you have a birthday sometime in February, there's going to be some type of trip planned. Either you're going to receive some, um, you'll receive tickets to go on a trip in February or if you're long distance or whatever the case may be, someone could be coming to see you or you may be going to see them. Sounds really good, Leo. Virgo, you need to pay attention to the red flags in a relationship or with someone that you're dealing with. You may not have been paying attention to them or you may have been just writing this person 
writing them off or just, you know, acting as if there was nothing going on, not really wanting to look at it. Maybe you've been criticizing yourself that you're always looking at red flags and maybe it's time to stop. But and I said this in one of my readings not too long ago. Everybody, there's always red flags in situations. It's just really a matter of picking out the ones that are waving so violently in your face that you're ignoring. Those are the ones you need to be paying attention to. Okay, so that's really just your advice during this time. It doesn't necessarily mean that you make a, need to make a decision about splitting up or moving on. It just means that you need to start paying attention to things. Okay, regardless of how you feel. Who are we doing next? <laughs> Libra. Time to have some heart-to-heart -heart conversations with someone. You and another person. Or if you meet someone new, there's going to be open, honest discussion with this person. Okay? But the month of February is telling you to pay attention to this, to start talking. You need to start opening up. Or someone will be opening up to you about a relationship or about their feelings and now is, this is the perfect opportune time to do this it's a ripe time to have this happen definitely go for it okay you'll know when it's time because the energy will just show up you'll feel it you'll sense it and then you'll just come right out with it and so will the other person okay Scorpio free yourself understandably Scorpio you are trapped in your head way too much you are you need to just get yourself out of this this thing that you're going through um, you just have this energy where I guess I feel like you let everyone else take control of your life or you let everyone else try to dictate to you and for some of you who who some of you are freeing yourself because you feel like people are always trying to control you too much. All right. So you, it's really just about striking that balance somewhere in your life during this time, during February. Okay. If you're in a toxic relationship, it's time to get yourself out of this. Okay. For you cross watchers who are listening for Scorpio, this is what they have to do right now for whatever the issue is if, if they feel they're in a toxic relationship or a toxic environment with you then they need to free themselves from this situation okay because they're losing their mind or they're losing control and um, Scorpios do not like to not be in control okay so if you're a Scorpio who is listening to this this is your advice just for February you may have some things you need to figure out and what's going on in your life and you need to figure it out and move forward Okay, so we have Sagittarius next. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and realizations help to bring you together. I kind of get a feeling with this card that you need to call somebody. Somebody you haven't talked to in a while. You need to make a phone call. You need to reach out and touch someone, Sag. <laughs> or someone's going to be doing that with you okay this is someone that you're connected with this doesn't have to necessarily be love like romantic love it could be a friend or a family member it's just someone who you are very attached to that you haven't spoken to for quite some time maybe you've been thinking about them or you need to start manifesting thoughts more more thoughts about them maybe you've been having dreams about someone and this is someone you haven't spoken to in a while so a lot of this energy is happening but if you need to reach out to someone, this is the time to do this. You need to do this now and make that phone call, send that text message, send that email, add someone, friend request them, um, follow them on social media, whatever it is, it's time for you to do this. And this also in the opposite could be happening for you. Someone from your past could be reaching out to you. Okay, Capricorn. Time to make the effort. Whatever you've been doing, Capricorn, it's time for you to like actually start putting in the work now. Okay, if you've been waiting for someone to do something with you or to do something for you, no more waiting. It's time to make your move. February is the time. If you're a male and you're interested in taking someone out on a date or being involved with someone, it's time to do that. You need to like actually do it. You can't just sit there and say, "Why? Well, what? What will they think? Or what will they say? Or what if I get rejected?" Screw that. It's you need to make the effort. And if you're a female, you got to do the same thing, 
right? You need to like, even if it's just something as little as letting someone know that you're interested in them, you need to make the effort to do this. At least in the month of February, it's okay. This is the right time for you to go ahead and do this. Because great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Absolutely. So you, a lot of times I feel like people just want to sit and they just want to wait for love to come knocking at their door. And it doesn't always work that way. Some There's a lot of differences and a lot of um, variables that can happen in relationships. And sometimes you actually just have to do something. You just have to make a move. Okay, so... Now we're going to move on to Aquarius. Aquarius, you deserve love. You are lovable. I don't know what you've been going through, but I feel like you've been feeling pretty down in the dumps or not worthy of having certain people or a certain someone in your life. But you need to get yourself out of that before you can even have that in your life, okay? Because no one wants to be around a Debbie Downer or someone who's never feeling good about themselves or never feeling that they deserve this, that, or the other because they haven't been able to accomplish certain things in their lives or they haven't, or they're just so hurt or they're just angry or miserable all the time. You know what? Everybody goes through that, but you absolutely deserve to have love. You absolutely are lovable, okay? But you have to start believing that because I don't think you have been. I don't think you've been looking at yourself and you've been saying, oh, you know what? Nobody cares. I think that's what you've been doing. Or no one's going to love me. Or I've been through this and I've been through that. No, no, no. Once you start loving yourself first and realizing that you do deserve all the great things that come to you, then you will get it. Okay? So, Pisces. And I was just saying this. So Pisces, for those of you who are on the Aquarius Pisces cusp, both of these messages are for you, okay? But Pisces, love yourself first. Same thing. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So it's time for you, Pisces, to start putting yourself first because what are you always doing? You're always waiting, waiting, waiting. I believe the Pisces reading for January, waiting, waiting, waiting. And someone in there commented, we're tired of waiting. We're, we are tired of waiting. That's right. You need to t take a step. Come out of your little ocean, oceanic blue water that you're swimming real deep in and actually come out and start making yourself number one now, regardless of what other people say, regardless of what someone else wants. This is what's time for you to do for yourself because you deserve love. You do, right? You don't have to sit there and wait for someone to actually, you know, cast their fishing line into your waters and wait the, and and you know you can actually take a bite you can actually jump out of the water if you want you know to get what it is that you want but take care of yourself first love yourself first respect yourself don't wait around for anyone else to respect you or wait around for anyone else to validate you or tell you what you need and you don't need you know who you are go ahead and get it Okay, that's your February sneak preview for love. Very short, very quick. Don't have a lot of time catching up on readings and also um, the Instant Go readings. So I hope you guys definitely use that Instant Go app. You can call me on it and we can chat on the phone. I've been talking to so many people and getting readings done super quick and it's fun and it's great. You can also text me there too. All right, so I will see you guys all in February. I hope you have the rest of... The, I hope the rest of your January is awesome. Talk to you later. Bye.